This is the project we're going to do today. This one is called Glacier Mountain. This one is using a Sutter stamp, which is called Glacier's Mountain. It's uh, Sutter's H2129, and I bought this stamp from the Peddler's Den website. Okay, for this project, we're going to use some Master's Touch mixed media pad. This seems to have more of a tooth than the Strathmore mixed media, and so that's why I specifically chose this particular medium for this project. Okay, so I'm going to stamp it with some Versamark. Because I stamped with Versamark ink, I can't really see the stamped image very well on the paper. So I'm going to reference the index image to see where I want to place the different colors on the page. Okay, I'm going to use some cheap makeup sponges. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, permanent green and I'm going to color it over where the trees are. And now I'll use some permanent green shade, which is a darker green color. Okay, next I want to color in the mountain area. And so I'm going to use burnt sienna and burnt sienna shade. So I'll get a new makeup sponge. And I'll take the lighter color and just start going over the mountain area. And now I'll do some of the darker shade. All right, and for the sky, I'm going to use some Thalto Blue Tint and some Thalto Blue. And so we'll start with a clean sponge and put the lighter tint on first. Okay, and now I'll use the darker blue. Okay, and now I'll go back with the other colors and uh, wherever I need to touch up parts, I'll just touch it up. Okay, now I'm going to take just a very, very, very light amount of my colorless blender and blend in some areas here. Let's see, and I also want to continue the green out. And now I'm going to sign and bait it before I spray it with the protective sealant. And now I'll take it outside and spray it with some workable fixative to seal the piece and protect it. And here's the final piece and I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye!